Yeah, hey, Travion. Just what um, – you've come up with a lot of big baskets and a lot of big moments in second halves here lately. What about you is kind of responding pretty well to those moments late in games when, you know, your team's relying on you when it kind of has to have a basket? Um, you know, it's just kind of in the back of my head. You know, I know the team relies on me. Um, you know, the best thing I can do is be simple and, you know, kind of get to my move. You know, that's a, uh, it works out for me. You know, it's a, it's a high percentage shot. Uh, my jump hook to over the left shoulder. You know, I, I try to stick with that. Um, but most it comes down to, you know, rebounding, being physical with guys. You know, a lot of guys don't like being, don't like being physical. So I feel like, you know, just bringing that aspect kind of kind of separates me and kind of brings our team up. So. Do you feel pressure in those moments or does it come pretty natural to you, wanting the ball? I mean, no, man. I mean, I mean, playing with Carson for, for so long, you know, it just – you don't feel pressure anymore. You know, playing with some of those, those higher-level guys, you just – you get used to it. You know, me and Eric had to come in, you know, freshman year, be ready to play. So, um, you know, pressure isn't a thing anymore. Um, you know, I just – you just kind of got to accept it and, you know, accept your role, of course. So. Yeah. Um, can you speak to how Eric's playing right now the last two games? He's, he, he's really giving you a pretty big offensive boost. Um, you know, it's, it's his ball pressure. Um, you know, every, anytime he's on the ball, you know, he's, he has active hands. You know, he, he's very, very energetic. You know, he's, he's into guys, you know, staying into him, jamming them 94 feet. Um, you know, and, and that's huge for us, you know, making it hard on those guards, you know, not, make, not letting them get easy catches and not letting them, you know, direct traffic. So um, you know, it, it's huge for us. What do you guys I'll just ask you again, what kind of steadied you guys in those situations where Michigan State was making runs or whatever? And, um, you know, they took the lead a couple of times. What, what what kind of gave you guys the sort of the presence of mind to, you know, kind of punch back, as you'd say? Um, like I said, just executing plays, setting screens. Um, you know, when we, when we execute plays, and you know, everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody's on the same page. You know, we're a really good team. Um, you know, we pretty much score 90% of the time. You know, when we execute plays. So uh, I think, you know, we just us sticking to our rules and, you know, not getting pressured by their momentum. Uh, and like I said, uh, sticking, sticking together, you know, it helps, it helps us out a lot. You know, I don't even know what your numbers are against the state of Michigan, but is there anything to that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I got it's, I can't. I can't even tell you. Uh, it's, I'm just going out there trying to play, man. I, I'm not even worried about numbers or anything. Um, I guess just something different about the Michigan schools. I guess I don't know. I'm good. Thank you, Travion. Yeah. Mike Carmen. Yeah, Travion. Just what kind of hurdle was it for this team to close out uh, a game like this against Michigan State, especially after the struggles uh, against Minnesota and Maryland here recently? I'm sorry. Just to, to be able to close out the game against Michigan State uh, after the struggles against Minnesota and Maryland here recently. Uh, you know, like I said, just uh, we we didn't you know look back at Minnesota, you know, um, saying like we did anything wrong. You know, we want to build off of it, and um, you know, even though we lost, we did some good things in that game. Uh, like I said, we just wanted to build off of it, and you know, we we came to practice the next day. Um, you know, we were ready to practice. We had a lot of energy, and you know, we kind of brought that energy into to this game, so. Can, you know, can this game kind of be a, a starting point to, to build some momentum going into the postseason and kind of string some wins together now? Yeah, man, I mean, you know, obviously we, we have no choice, you know, but to kind of keep rolling. Um, but like you said, you know, we, we want to keep building off this win. Um, you know, I said every, every game, you know, we prove something else to ourselves. And, you know, we know that we can compete with anybody in the Big Ten. We just got to, you know, s stick with each other and, you know, trust each other on the court and you know, play for each other. Okay, right. thank you. Yep. Anyone else for Travion? Can I get one, Chris? Yep, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Travion, you scored from, I think, basically every angle tonight. Uh, you have a lot of shots where you're just kind of off balance and fading away, and, and you score anyway. What is, do you practice those shots? What is it about those that, that you're able to make so many of them? Uh, yeah, man, it just comes in, it comes with practice, man. I, in practice, you know, I work on those, those type of shots. Um, you know, I work, even with Coach Bradley, you know, we, we stay after practice, whether it's before or after, you know, we work on different shots. PJ Thompson, you know, he, he's always willing to work with me. Um, Grady, you know, those guys are always in the gym with me, you 
know, working on different things. Um, and that's what prepares me for, you know, games like this. I'm good. I got one. Go ahead. Trevion, hey, um, Jaden Ivey has moments where he doesn't look like um, anybody, el anybody else. Would you mind just kind of expounding on what kind of future that young man has? Um, very bright future, man. You know, he, a lot of times, you know, he gets down on himself, but, you know, you know, he's a freshman, he's still learning. Um, and, you know, it's normal. You know, I, as a freshman, I got down on myself, you know, because you care so much and, you know, you want to do right, you want to do the right things, you want to stay in the game. So, you know, I kind of get it, but, you know, his future is bright. You know, once he kind of just lets the game come to him, you know, he, he's, he's still like, you know, overthinking things and he's still, you know, playing really good. Um, you know, I can only imagine what it looked like in a year or two. So. Thanks. Anyone else? Cool.